My name is Abby Morrison and this is my video reflection for Chicano Studies. Um, for the first part, um, a social movement from the past and a social movement from the present that I have a great interest in and to compare and contrast them. Um, an issue of the past, um, mine is from the 1960s, was I guess that of materialism and people or the hippies trying to fight this this phenomenon which still is actually very much present today um but i guess i have such a great interest because i'm ashamed of how materialistic the american society has become and how we now think it's more important to see who can mo who can buy the most things compared to I guess your connection with your family or your friends or the important things in life that can bring actual happiness and to demonstrate materialism I just have kind of a cartoon image of it which represents somebody probably in our society trying to find happiness through money and materials. Um, and then in a social movement for today, I think, in the Chicano community that I have a great interest in is that of um, trying to fight white supremacy. And again, this issue has been one that has been in the past and continues in the present, which I guess I have such a great interest in it because I think that our society should be one that has moved past this problem that we faced for so long and this is one of the major things that we can't get past is the favoring of one race over another and um, I guess these two issues as can be seen are completely different from each other but at the same time I think they share a common point in that it shows people's dissatisfaction with um, themselves and the people around them in their society. Um, I think it shows that we're dissatisfied, for example, with the materialism that people like myself were, were not proud of what we began to base our society off of. And then for today's issue with white supremacy, I think it also shows that all different cultural groups especially though right now the latino and chicano community um dissatisfaction with how society has been run and how it shouldn't be run but people have continued to support it which leads to i uh, discrimination and just unfair treatment of all different types of people um the second part to address is um an issue that i think um, is a problem and identity development within the Latino community and I think a major issue is um, not being able to speak your native language. I think this is a problem because people rely on their language because I feel like within your language you kind of develop yourself and if that's taken away from you then that person is taken away from you or that idea of that person is taken away from you and you you find yourself lost and don't know how to relate to the world and again just like a little illustration to demonstrate how this can affect a person is a representation of all the different things that identity um, is affected by and some of the things are like your appearance your beliefs your values your choices and I think that if your language is taken away you don't know how to bring these beliefs into your day-to-day -day life um and then the last part is an issue that i face in my identity development and i think this a big issue in that was preventing me from really i guess discovering who i was um was being ashamed of who i am because coming into class I, I felt bad about being white because I realize how many bad things have been done by white people in the United States and all over the world. But I think a big part in trying to figure out who I was was realizing that I can be ashamed for them, but that has nothing to do with me because I've never done any of those things, nor do I believe in them. So that has nothing to do with me. And I think getting past 
the fact of being ashamed of those things in in my life has helped me be a little bit more open to figuring out who I am. Thank you.